Because B-Man here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. What we have is a full guide right through to be able to get a full armor set, including an awesome dark katana like you see right here, a shield to go with it, the full armor set, and this awesome staff that you see right here that can do both spells and incantations so like you see here you can be overpowered with this cool katana that can use its cool dark ability have a staff that can do dragon's breath incantations and spells all at the same time guys and this video is all you need to know for everything to be able to get you right through this quest and get the remembrance the staff is actually a remembrance from a boss but with that said guys get down there help me out and help me help you guys smash that like button on my videos and leave me an awesome comment make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already and guys let's go over the items that you're going to be getting from this video you're going to be getting the sword of night you're going to get claws of night the staff of great beyond the shield of night and this awesome dark armor set and this awesome amulet that shortens casting speeds guys so with that said let's get straight into this you're going to start out from this gray site right here and then we're going to have to head our head down underground you can go this way if you're skilled and can make your jumps down you can get down that way but there's another easier way just come over here to this point right here and make your way down and through this hole follow the path you see me take and you'll get right through to a ladder then make your way up the ladder and to the grace site Then you'll get to the Boney Village Grace Site. From this point, we're going to now go up and get an emote that we need later on to be able to open up a secret passage. So, to get this emote, we just take our path over this direction here to a little tree that you see. So, just make the jump over this gap. And right here will be the emote, Oh Mother Emote. This is a vital item. You need to get this. Do not skip it. After you've got that, we're back to the Boney Village Grace, and we're going to make our way all the way around these, this way up to this point here. Then we're going to head on up to that point. So again, just follow the path you see me take, and you will get there. Now again, guys, I can't stress it out. If you don't mind, get down there and smash that like button for me as that helps me gauge the interest in my content from you guys and also helps my channel grow and helps it, my videos in the algorithm, guys. So if you don't mind and this content helps you, help me out. Smash that like button for me. Leave me an awesome comment and subscribe if you're new. Watch out for this golem right here. Just go straight under him, though. Just follow the path all the way up here, and you'll get to this grace site. Right here. Now we'll make our way up to this point. And this is where we're going to be visiting a lot at this point up here, guys. The cathedral. Touch this grace site and then make your way in. Push open these super heavy doors <laughs> and go along and talk to the guy sitting on the chair. Now, I can't stress enough, when you guys are doing this, make sure that you ex use up all of this guy guy's dialogue. If he has any options to ask him questions, ask him those questions. So come to this guy and get this item here. You will need this item before you carry on to do the rest. He gives you the first ruins map. Now we need to go and over all the way over to this point here. So, to get here, this is the secret area. So to open that, we want to start from this grace site here that we just got a second ago, and we want to make our way this way. 
follow the path that you see me taking. You'll see this big archway door come through here and just make your way up through here all the way to a grace site just at the top of here. Make your way along these rooftops here. Sprint jump here to over. Now be careful of this dude here. He can be annoying. I find it easier to kill him than to try and skip him. Then make your way up this way. Make your way up here. And then jump down this hole. And then jump down this other hole. Make your way through here, past this enemy, all the way round and out along here and up this lift right here. To the specimen storehouse and then to the grace site. Now, we want to just head over here and go up the ladder. Be careful, there's a guy at the top of this ladder you're going to have to kill. It's a long ladder. Then you want to make your way this way, up the stairs, and then to the right, and out on the balcony. And you get to this grace site. Now you want to make your way up. Around here like this and up the ladder. Now you're not going in through the lift, you're actually going down this ladder. And down this ladder. And out to the balcony. And then down this lift outside. And then down another lift. Once you've made your way all the way to this grace site right here, this is where you're going to need the emote that we had to collect earlier. So if you skip that part, go back and get that emote because you need that right here. So we'll select the O oh Mother emote and then you need to do this emote right in front of the statue right here. Then the statue will open up and reveal the new secret area. And you come through and you get this awesome, beautiful new area right here. And you've got the grace site just right here. Now after this, we just carry on through to the next grace site after here. And one more grace site. And then we can carry on down to the big horn or finger that you need to interact with. Watch out for these tree sentinels, just go straight past them.
and you'll get to a grace site right here. And then follow down and you'll get to this part here. Now, from this point, make sure you follow the path that you see me take here to make it so that you can get through this area easy. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting down here. So follow this path that you see me here and it will seem a lot easier than if you try and go down the actual path. So I'm hugging the far side here and I'm coming down this side instead of going down the right hand side I'm going down the left hand side here. If you try and go down the middle of the right hand side you will get constantly stun locked and jumped on all the time and it's very frustrating. So if you want to avoid that just take the path that you see me taking here. Make your way all the way over to the center here and interact with this here. You cannot interact with it when you're on the horseback. Then you will get your first medallion charm. Amulet, sorry. Once you've got that, come back to the cathedral and speak to the guy in the chair again. And you will get your second map. Now we need to go and do that same thing again, but somewhere else. On top of that second map, we also get the charm that makes it so we can cast faster. Now we need to go down to the second one of these horns to blow on it. To go to that, we need to go to the Cyrilene Coast. To get there, this is how you get there. We're starting from this grace here because it's a well-known common grace that you should all have. Hug this cliff face coming around here and then you're going to make your way down this cliff face all the way down here then just when you get down there there's going to be a cave that we're going to go into Just past this flower is a cave. Make your way through this cave. To this grace site, just through here. And then you've made your way to this point here. Now you've got to go left and you need to jump down all of these rocks. Be careful, if you fall, you die. And then you'll have to try again. No big deal, but it can get annoying. Then we're here, and we just got to carry on right through and to the coast. Hug to the right here, and that golem shouldn't really affect you whatsoever. Just go straight past them and up through this ridge. Now, if this is the first time you're coming here, you will encounter a dragon here. It's up to you whether or not you actually fight it or whether you just run past it. But there will be a dragon here. Also, this is where you get the map segment for this area. Then just make your way to this grace site.
now that we're at this grace site all we need to do is just make our way along the coast and into the area that we need to get to for this next horn or finger or whatever it is so we follow this path down here and this takes us down to the beach and we follow the beach along Now don't get confused, this is the second one that you've seen here, this isn't the first one, you go through past one and then it's the second one that you come to, that's the one that you can walk into. On the beach there's two of those ramp things. Carry on down and all the way in to the horn or finger that you need to interact with. See those things with those stunning things can be annoying. They stun you and then the other things come along and they, they bite you. If you don't have a high health they will instant kill you. So that's why at the other area I tell you to go and stick to the certain way I tell you to go. So you don't have to deal with all of that. But make your way to here and interact with this and you'll get yourself another amulet. Once you've got that, you now need to come back to the cathedral and speak to the guy in the chair again to get the third map. Now, make sure at this point you use up all of his dialogue and ask all questions available that he has op available to ask until he has nothing left available. And also, the knight of standing by the pillar, do that with him. Once you've done that, Go and rest and pass time until night time, okay? It has to be night time. Then, after doing that, the guy in the chair will no longer be in the chair. And you can come up to the chair and you can press Y on Xbox to interact and you actually press a button at the bottom of the chair. Opening the chair and opening up a secret area. Go down. And when you get to the bottom of here, you will be invaded. Now, I fell off the edge fighting this guy, and he followed me down, and I got the kill. I managed to kill him and still got the item because he fell off the edge. So however you go about killing him is up to you, but that's just what happened with me in this fight here. Then you will get the claws. When you kill this dude. As you see I fell down. He followed me down. And then I got the claws of night. So this is where you get the claws of night. For those wanting that item. Once you've got that. You can carry on past him. And this is where we're going to head on. To the last final horn. We interact with the horn. And then this puts us into a boss fight guys. So be prepared. This goes straight into the boss fight. Now, this boss fight is no joke. I happen to just do it, do it easy on the first try, but I am very highly statted in my, my profile. So I don't know whether you will have trouble with this or whatnot, but I don't really, this is not really a guide for this, guys. So feel free to see what I've done here, but this isn't really a guide for this boss fight. I'm not sure if this is a boss that you will have trouble with or not. I didn't have any trouble with this boss at all. As you see here, just dodge when he comes at you. And the dragon breaths, for me, because I use, have a dragon breath build, dragon breaths just made this really easy, really. Now, once you beat this boss here, 
you get the remembrance and this boss's remembrance it's the staff is the staff that we're using that is able to ha cast both spells and incantations so this boss's remembrance if you choose the staff you have a staff that can actually cast both spells and incantations and in my opinion it's one of the best weapons in Elden Ring I love this thing now and this is one of my staple weapons I no longer need a seal or anything and the fact that I can couple it with the katana is awesome after you've got that and you've defeated him come back to the cathedral where the chair is and interact with the chair and then you will be put into a fight the knight that's there will turn hostile like you see here you'll have to kill him and then the guy that was sitting in the chair you will also have to kill him too once you kill him you will get his bell bearing and his armor etc guys but beware this is not where you get the sword there's still more steps so you do get these items right here as you see right here another staff and an armor set now after that you need to come to this location here okay this is this castle and we need to just go straight down into a un, into the underground of this castle kill one dude down there and he drops the item that we need to be able to get our knight katana so make your way over and into the underground down here and just around this corner is the one guy that you're going to need to kill kill this guy and pick up the eye the iris of oculation once you've got that come back to the cathedral then come over to this pillar and talk to this knight now make sure you do not use iris of grace and make sure that you do use iris of oculation if you want the katana this is how you get the katana of knight once you select use the oculation then you will get the option the item will just show up and you can pick up the sword of night guys this is in my opinion is my new favorite katana it's absolutely awesome now we're going to go and complete the set come to this location and head in this direction that you see me going and we're going to go and get the armor set and the shield that matches with the dark knight katana guys so come in this direction you see me coming right here and there's a cave follow the path that you see me taking and at the same time enjoy the gameplay with the new katana that you've just got As you see, you can use the katana and the staff simultaneously. They work really well together. You have the staff in the left hand and you have the katana in the right hand. And you can use the katana's abilities and still use the staff and all of the incantations and everything. So once you jump down this pot, guys, what you need to do at this point is you want to kill this guy. Then you need to wait for the circle thing I'm standing on to stop glowing. So stand on it and then wait for it to stop glowing. Once it stops glowing, you want to jump on it to activate it again. It's a pressure plate, as you see here, and then when we jump, the pot will come back down. Now, this pot actually rises up past where we just come onto it. So we came in there, but we come up to this point. Now we get off here, and this is where the armor set is, guys. You get this armor set from right here, 
and then we just got to go through to the next room and we'll be able to get the shield so here's the armor set and then make your way up these stairs and just in this room here is the shield right here and now you have the full set guys you have the the katana you have the staff you have the full armor set and the shield and the night claws guys you have the whole lot and now you can just go out there and have awesome fun now, in my opinion this staff with this katana is just a super awesome build this katana's ability that knight ability is super cool and it cannot be blocked so if anything if you're having trouble with some sort of mob that's always blocking your attacks use this katana's ability and that cannot be blocked guys it's awesome it's powerful it looks cool and everything so with that said guys get down there if you haven't already smash that like button for me as that helps me out and helps my channel grow it helps me and helps my videos get out in the algorithm and helps me make more content for you guys with that said thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one here we'll just lend the video with it going over the stats and all of that of all the items that you've got in this video thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you on the next one b man